Over the last few weeks, I've been getting really excited about the opening of Thailand to quarantine free travel on the 1st of November. And so is everyone around here. I'm recording this on the 26th of October and I want to ask this question. I'm ready for reopening, but is Thailand? And spoiler alert, the answer might be no. Okay, before we go any further, my name is Phil. Some people call me Mr. Egg and I'm the boss of Le Pub Pattaya on Soy Diamond on Walking Street. And me, along with all my friends, we really want this reopening to work. Previously on the channel, we've done a video about the entry requirements that you need to come in for quarantine free travel. And it's a lot, lot easier than the previous requirements. From the 1st of November, you will be required to fill out a Thailand pass, which is digital information that you make in your home country to give information such as your hotel bookings here in Thailand, because you have to book for at least one night in an SHA Plus hotel or an alternative quarantine hotel. Fine, but the only thing is, there's a few problems. The first problem is the Thailand Pass system. Well, it will be live on the 1st of November, but it takes a while to process all the information. You have to enter all your vaccination and hotel accommodation details digitally in your own country. That usually takes about seven days, maybe a bit longer to be processed here in Thailand. So in reality, Thailand Pass won't be ready and people coming through on that system for about seven to 14 days. But the good news is you'll still be able to use the certificate of entry system, which is currently the system that's being used here in Thailand. People have criticized Thailand Pass, but actually it's quite a good thing. For example, do you remember hunting for a pen as you're waiting in the line at immigration to fill out your TM8 form? All that will be gone because all that information will be stored digitally in your Thailand Pass on a QR code, which you can flash and you're good to go. Problem number two is that there are actually no SHA Plus hotels in Pattaya that are able to offer the one day package. We've contacted over 30 hotels and for those hotels that have come back to us, they've all said the same thing. They're not able to offer the government's one day package because they have no details of it yet from the government. So they can only offer it as an AQ or assisted quarantine hotel. Most SHA plus accredited hotels here in Pattaya are not AQ, but the ones that are, are selling the packages. And we'll go and have a look at them in a minute. Here on the channel, we've really done a lot of research to try and contact hotels and find you some one night packages with the testing procedures. And we've come across four hotels and actually one luxury villa. The prices go from about 4,100 baht up to about 5,000 baht for the hotels. The villa is 10,000 baht a night, but weirdly only available to rent by Thai people. The details of the packages are here and that includes hotel accommodation, transfer from the airport to the hotel, also a PCR test which you take on day one and an ATK kit which you take with you to test on day six or day seven. There's only need for one night accommodation in the hotel as long as you pass the PCR test. So, between 4,100 and 5,000 baht for one night stay in a three, maybe three, four star hotel, small, 25 square meters. That seems expensive, but look at what you get. You also get uh, transfer in a biosecure taxi from the airport here in Pattaya. You also get that PCR test. We've 
asked a few hospitals about the PCR test, if we were to just take one, uh, a registered hospital here, they're about 1,500 baht, and then you've got your ATK kit, which you take on day six. It does seem a little bit expensive, especially when the hotel room is only a postage stamp. What do you think? Let us know in the comments down below. So, is it gonna be a military style strict regime when you get here to Pattaya in your hotel? In reality, I honestly don't think so. I went on behalf of a friend to a couple of SHA Plus hotels on Saturday, expecting there to be security outside, um, maybe temperature checks and checks on vaccinations, etc. Nothing at all. This was an SHA Plus hotel and you could literally just walk in and out like a normal hotel. So don't let all the rules and regulations worry you too much. This is off the record, just between you and me. I don't think it's going to be all that bad. Just pass your test and I think you're good to go. So I started off this video and on the thumbnail by asking the question, is Thailand ready? And I think they're ready. The answer is clearly not really. Look, time and time again lately, the government has been saying that they want to try and live with the global pandemic, that they really do want to welcome you in this high season over Christmas and the new year and come and holiday here and have a great time. I think they're doing as much as they can, but as usual, the infrastructure and the IT is not quite there, but it will get there in the end. I'm ready, everyone here is ready, and guess what, back in the bar, the girls are ready. My name is Miu Kha. I am ready. Hello. My name is Dear. I'm ready. Hello. My name is Chu. I am ready. Hello. My name is Dai. I am ready. Kha. Hello, everyone. My name is Phun. I'm ready. Kha. 